Hey guys, in the next few videos, we will try to understand and implement something called as cloud anchors in our apps. With cloud anchors, people using different devices can look at the same anchor at the same time in the same environment. So before we go ahead, I would like to talk about the Instagram page that I have created. Hey, let's code. There, you guys can ask me any questions or you can suggest me with anything. Or even if you have any issues, then you can reach me there. So follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link to my page in the description box. Now let's get straight into our video and try to implement cloud anchors in our example app. So the first thing you will need to do is create a cloud anchor API key from console.cloud.google.com. Search for AR core cloud anchor API key. and go to credentials click on create credential click on what credentials do I need and then create a new API key and finally click on create Copy this API key. So now that we have the API key, we can finish creating and setting up the project in this video. Create a new project. Name this project Cloud Anchors. Target API 24 and later empty activity and finish go to build.gradle file and add the dependency of scene form implementation com.google.ar scene form ux version 1.6.0 is the latest currently so we will use that. Now add Java 8 support. Source compatibility. Java version 1.8. And target. Java version 1.8. Click on sync now. Go to manifest file, add camera permission, and also add internet permission, declare feature camera. Add metadata, the name com.google, ar.core, value required. We also need to add one more metadata for our Cloud Anchors app, declaring our API key. So type metadata, name com.google.com android ar dot api key and value our api key now we will also need to do some configurations to our ar fragment session so to do that we will first create a java class Name this Java class custom AR fragment. This will extend AR fragment. 
and implement its method get session. So to do that, press Ctrl O and search for get session configuration. Create an object of config. and enable cloud anchor mode also set focus mode to auto and then configure our session and lastly set up the session and then we can return our config object now that we have configured our created our custom AR fragment we can go to activity main.xml file remove the text view and add fragment set width and height to match parent give this an ID of fragment name this fragment to our custom fragment we will also add a button we will set width and height to wrap con content set text to resolve and give this an ID of resolve okay so that's it for this video in the next video we will finish up coding our project